Hi guys, welcome to this edition of Arm Care IQ. I'm Dr. Ryan Croton. People call me Croatsy in the industry. I've been in Major League Baseball for nine years. Um, I've been a researcher in biomechanics and a strength coach. And uh, what I'm going to talk to you guys today about on this particular session is that strength matters more than biomechanics. And that's crazy coming from someone who's studied human movement and uh, especially in terms of how it relates to injury. So let's talk about why strength matters most. There are three aspects that are related to injury and I'm showing you a continuum on this slide and we need to understand fatigue is the number one injury risk factor. And so with pitch accumulation in games and also chronically over the course of the season, weakness occurs and weakness doesn't have to be within all muscle groups. It can cause muscular imbalance where some stay strong and some go weak. And what happens is it creates compensation in our throwing pattern. So for instance, my shoulder abduction position, so my arm, the way it's elevated in 3D space may change. My layback could change. The speed of my layback could change for my throwing arm. Uh, my arm could fly out at different instances. And so you have all these different compensations that occur with throwing arm weakness. And that's what we have to be aware of, that we have to prevent those. So let's talk about some muscular imbalances. So first let's talk about the shoulder from the internal rotator cuff and external rotator cuff perspective. If my external rotators, which lay my arm back are stronger than my internal rotators that bring my arm forward in acceleration, um, that can cause a slap tear. And the reason being is that my internal rotators aren't able to decelerate as well. And that puts extra emphasis on the bicep tendon. The bicep tendon and the biceps muscle is a great stabilizer for the arm in external rotation. It's a minor one, but if our internal rotator cuff is weak, the bicep's gonna pick up the load and that bicep tendon, part of it is connected to the labor. And so on a peel back mechanism, so that means when my arm's going back, the bicep tendon's rolling backwards and it's creating torsion, it can peel the labrum off the, the glenoid and that's called a slap tear. So that shows you that we need to have muscular and ba muscular balance because this can cause a significant shoulder injury. So let's go to the elbow. They're linked. So again, let's talk about the internal rotator cuff. If it's weak as it's trying to accelerate layback, that extra speed of the forearm can cause stretching of the inner elbow, and that could put tension on the UCL. The UCL is protected by the flexor pronator mass. So these muscles go over the UCL ligament and they need to be super strong. And we're working on tests to be able to evaluate uh, flexor pronator mass strength, um, particularly of a, a, an important muscle called the FDS or the flexor digitorum superficialis. But if my internal rotator cuff is weak, it's going to put a lot more bending on the inner elbow. So it's important, again, that we have muscular imbalance there to, to keep the ligament healthy. Lastly, this is the final stage of the critical incident throwing. And the critical incident throwing is from maximum layback to just after ball release. That's where all the highest forces live. And the highest force out of all of these uh, sequential events of the throwing arm happens in deceleration. Um, the loads can get over body weight. And so if my muscular uh, balance is off in terms of, let's just say my internal rotator cuff strength is now much greater my external rotators could be strained. So they're weaker, so they get stretched more than they're capable of, and that could cause a rupture um, over time. And so, you know, this is important in terms of having muscular imbalance because it affects the entire sequence of throwing. And uh, I hope that you're taking this lesson in this first arm care IQ session that strength matters most. We need to have optimal strength. We need to focus on that beyond optimal mechanics because everyone throws differently, but the strength pattern matters. Thanks for listening. Take care.